the day of the Queen's funeral. It does taste burnt. That tree just fell from up just there. Just as you said that. Have a look at that. is what they do on the PSV 7. This is like a mini Stonehenge. Shit comes back on me. <laughs> I am 43 today. The most violent poltergeist in Europe. Look how big that is. That is quality. If you want to be tied up, let me know. That's actually kind of spooked me a little bit. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to September. Yes, September has arrived. It's a bit dark. Well, it's nearly Christmas. Autumn is officially here. Autumn is here, people. That means one thing and one thing only. Halloween is on its way. Forget Christmas, forget what I said. Halloween is first. The spooky season will soon be with us. Will we have a month of spookiness in October? Who knows? what's going to happen in October so you have to wait for next month's vlog getting ready to go out head freshly shaved ching 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 little trim on the old beard there so yeah I'm doing well still taking me meds so guys Amazon have been and they have delivered my Alexa I ordered an Alexa. Whoa, and he dropped it. It's the Echo Dot. We have these at work and they're very good. And because I have Amazon Prime, I get free Amazon Music apparently. Is that how it works? I hope so. So I opted for the gray black one. So it should be pretty straightforward to set this one up to be fair. And the good thing, this you get a plug but again it's built in so i can't really say you shouldn't get a plug but it's you're not used to getting plugs nowadays you just get the cable that is a usb cable and that's it and you expect it to find the you know the lead and all that so oh Hello, your device is ready for setup. Hello. Just download the Alexa app and follow the instructions. Hallo. Dein Gerät kann jetzt eingerichtet werden. Lade dazu die Alexa app runter und folge den Anweisungen. Bonjour, votre appareil est prêt pour la Bonjour. Hallo. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. Ciao. Il dispositivo è pronto per la. Alright, calm down. Scarica la. So I've been Jim. I got a Costa smashed some weights not done weights for a long time a couple of months god i feel it heart's racing like crazy absolutely boom 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 so it's drink my coffee have a shower have lunch get ready for work and stay there till tonight the joys of a sunday <laughs> do you think that you can burn coffee because this coffee tastes burnt and it's the, the cleaning bloke up here at Western Fable. His name is Na Nando, Nando, something like that. So, I don't know. But yeah, he didn't make it very well. And it tastes, it does taste burnt. So, hello, Jim. <laughs> well, morning, guys. It is Sunday. And how are you doing on this lovely day? Coconut latte. Yes. These cups, mugs are available. Click in the link in the description and you will find out. They're very good. They wash, dishwasher safe, normal washing safe. And they're, they're very good. I've got one at home, one at work, one at my friend's house. They're everywhere. So if you want a good mug that will last, so people will see it and think, that's a weird mug. I think, yeah, that's Mickey's mug. He's weird. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, it's Sunday and it is nearly 11 o'clock. And I have decided to go to the gym. Do you ever get these times where you don't want to do stuff, but you get motivated because you watch a TikTok video of someone 
doing stuff in the gym and you're thinking, yeah, I can do that. Whoa. That's me today. So, yeah, I've got work this afternoon as extra on my weekend off because I'm a nice person and I help out. And then a week today, I will be going out with my good friend Ryan again. We are ghost hunting up north in a hidden temple. Ooh, I wanted to go to this place for a long time, so should be good. Check out the rest of this vlog for more footage, because I presume I filmed it, otherwise why would I go? But yeah. And then next Monday, week tomorrow, it is my birthday. I will be 43. Oh, I know. 43. I only look 42. I will see you the next time I film something. Hopefully it's something exciting. Otherwise you'll be bored and you'll be like, not watching Mickey's shit anymore. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Eventually. Morning. It's time to have one of these bad boys. I used to have the ginger shot. Now they've added turmeric. Turmeric shot to it as well. 100% juice not from concentrate. So in this you've got one juicy orange, one large chunk of ginger, one quarter of tangy lemon, and one fifth of a turmeric tuber. Whatever tuber is, I don't know. But yeah, these are, oh, shake it for, shake, 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 shake. Bottoms up. It burned. Oh man. Anyway, enough about my throat. It is first day back of school for all the little tearaways. Yeah, Josh is back at sick form. Leo is still in Spain, so he's not at school. Doesn't help the situation with Leo. Leo should be here, she be back from holiday. What can you say? Waiting for the school to phone me today. And then I'll just have to tell them. I ain't getting no fine. No. It's his final year, year 11. The most important year of his uh, school life. And where is he? In sunny Spain. Not impressed. Tomorrow. So good morning guys. It is Monday the 19th of September and it is the day of the Queen's funeral. Yes, there's hardly anybody on the roads. It's just empty. It's like the lockdown has happened again. Obviously all, all, all most of the shops, I'd say 99% of the shops are closed. Um, cafes are shut. There's um, basically no one around, nothing is open. Which is fair enough, you've got to pay your respects to the, the Queen. She did, did an amazing job, 70 years of ruling this country and the Commonwealth. I mean, you can't beat that. Who else has, has served the country that long? No one in history. The longest reigning monarch, not only in the UK, but also in the world, I believe. So it is a momentous day. Is that the right word, momentous? Probably. Um, so, you know, the, the funeral is later on. I am off out, it is like nine o'clock in the morning and I'm off for a walk in a country park because they're empty, there's no one there. And I don't think they're open, but the barrier shouldn't be, shouldn't be down, so we should be all right. Although when you get stuck behind a learner driver, it's not the best start to the day, as in I am stuck behind one right now. So, but anyway, it is, um, we'll be paying my respects to the Queen today. Not everybody likes the Queen, not everybody likes the Royals, the Monarchs, whatever you want to call them. But, you know, it is what it is. Why are you breaking? There's no one on the roundabout. Oh my God, oh my God. Who teaches these learners nowadays? They're shocking. 
This is from Alps Driving School. Alps. A L P S. And you're in the wrong fucking lane to come around this. Oh, this roundabout. They're in the wrong lane to go around the roundabout. You have a driving instructor in there with you. Why is he not telling you what lane to be in? Oh my god. <sighs> Calm down, Michael. No road rage when the Queen gets buried. Oh my god. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, if I ever get there. There's all the cars. <laughs> I suppose there will be some jobs that are still open today, like factories, some shops, probably stocking shelves, things like that maybe. Can you park here? Because I want to drive around. Not drive around. I want to walk around the lake. <clears throat> There's a few people here. You'll never see Rushton Lakes as empty as this. Boom, boom. Morning guys, everything is foggy out. There's a bird, hello bird. It is Sunday, 9-11, yep. Big respect to everybody who lost their lives in that tragic and horrible disaster back in 2001. Well today, I'm off to Yorkshire, going to pick Ryan up. And we are going to the Druid's Temple. Druid's Temple. In the middle of nowhere. In the forest. And it should be amazing. Mommy. But there's only one thing that can start the day. And we are going on a trip to Costa. So an update. I'm outside Costa, a riverside. It doesn't open until nine. And I've got to wait eight minutes. Now the, the conundrum I have is, do I drive for eight minutes? Well, how far could I get in eight minutes? I could probably get to the M1 in eight minutes from here. And then I can stop at the services and get coffee. But I've not had a coffee today on the pure fact that I was going to come here on the way. <coughs> and as you can probably uh, hear and sound, uh, my voice is croaky. It's because it's still cold and it's not had its morning coffee. So it's very important to me, very important. Link in description. But yeah, make sure you like this video guys, what are you doing? I am traveling, I'm driving for over six hours today, just so I can get content for you guys to watch this amazing video. So that is what I do for you and what I enjoy doing as well. And it'd be really good if you'd like this video. And subscribe if you haven't though. Then quite hit the bell, press the subscribe button, and we are good to go. And we'll carry on in this journey in this video. <laughs> there we go. We've stopped off for some food. What do you reckon, Burger King? Definitely Burger King. Oh yeah. So we need to wait as well. We've got another hour to go. So I've been traveling an hour so far on Ryan's journey. My journey is a bit longer, but... <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? So we've entered some sort of camping area where you've got to pay. I had to walk half a mile to, to the calf, which is right down there, to get a ticket, get your receipt, put your reg on, and you put it in an honesty box. But nobody knows where this honesty box is, so... Just put it inside my car on the windscreen and be done with it, because I can't find it anywhere. It's like Stonehenge, isn't it? Yeah. That'll be... 
It's a weird tower, did it? Is there? Oh, yeah, you said about that, yeah. So these stones at the side of the path just been laid here, but this has got some sort of metal hook in. And if you look on there, there's a hole, which means that used to be on top of that, like those ones down there that we're going to see in a minute. So does anybody know any sort of history regarding like Stonehenge or places similar that they might have had on the lead up to these, these venues, like is it some sort of markers? Or? Yeah, might be some sort of significance where they put them, how far they put them. Yeah. Do they? We are here, Mickey. Are we here? A bit much. Hey. Yards away. Oh, I'm excited. That's muddy. Can I get wet feet again, right? Oh, hang on. Where's your carrier bag? Huh? It's a carrier bag. Oh, no, no. The carrier bag is gone. <laughs> no longer sponsored by Costco. <laughs> See, this one here is weird as well. This isn't the main one, is it? Yep. Is it? Ah, okay. Oh yeah, see, look, there's like a little case in here. It goes into the woods up there, so that's well cool. There's a weird tower looking. Oh uh, yeah, up there. It's got a weird stack in it. Yeah. See, maybe people here are just walking, because they, they don't go in. Yeah. So. And then this thing here. Yeah, I mean, that would probably have them metal stump things in the middle just to know, keep it in place, I don't know. Just look at the, if you look through the gaps, uh, yeah. I think it's just the weight of them. Do oh, these ones, yeah, definitely. But again, that one wasn't small, was it? Yeah. Well, just... So it was this side here that when I was here with the hauntings, yeah. and the, that is there where we heard the whistling. Yeah. And something ran towards me and I jumped famously the comedy clip where I jump on Coxie's back. <laughs> that was over there. I did a long video here. Because you can you can hear like on the night time you get hear like in the distance like it sound like horses running. Yeah. Coming from that direction. Oh wow. Oh, this is this is like a mini Stonehenge, mm. isn't it? It's well cool. Wow, this place is awesome. So this is like, this was purpose built. It's over like 200 years old, I believe. Oh, the cave. Oh, that's well cool. Let's see if I can get some light in there. It's weird that they've got the inner circle and then they've got spaced out outer circle of big rocks. Yeah, I've not thought of it like no. that. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe, does this mean a protection for the inside? See, some people have related it to aliens and different things, haven't oh, they? Oh yeah, very much so. Yeah. That's what they always say, Stonehenge was built by aliens because the, the stones are too big, too but heavy. We, we know that this wasn't clearly, you know. No, this was man-made 200 years ago by a man. So according to Google, the Druid's Temple is a Regency era folly in open woodland near the Yorkshire village of Ilton near Masham or Ripon. The folly was loosely modelled after Stonehenge and illustrates the fanciful ideas about Druids held by Georgian and early Victorian folk.
That wasn't a tree just falling. That, on that tree just fell from up just there. Just as you said that. It was about six, seven foot branch just fell from the top. I hope the audio picked that up, you know. That's nuts. How? That's actually kind of spooked me a little bit. What is the chance? And listen, <laughs> guys, I'm going to just aim you up to the sky because what I want to show you is there is a breeze, but you'll notice that none of the trees are waving about crazy, so it certainly wasn't the weather conditions. Look at that. Look how crystal clear the day is. That's an odd one, Mickey, isn't it? That was weird. I was watching that. I was like, yeah. I'm like, what? But just as you said it, just as you were talking about the, 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 the location. Mm. That came from like 40 foot up. Yeah, that was a little bit weird to be fair. So we found a funny tower overlooking the temple. Now this must have meaning, but I don't know it. So if anyone who's watching this video has been here before, it's like Jenga. Giant Jenga. Clever Ryan over here has just suggested that it could be a clock. Like, I get a little <laughs> like an original sundial, because there's 12 stones surrounding this one feature. So the shadow would move round. Yeah. And then depending on the time, obviously the shadow would be sitting on a particular stone. Yeah. And of course that would make sense when you were building it to know when it was clocking off time. Yeah. Or lunch time. So we're going to try a new bit of equipment from Andy Bailey, Infrared. It's an EVP sampler. It records 10 seconds of audio and we can speed it up or slow it down to um, try and find the hidden voices. So never used this before at any location. So this is the first time at the Druids Temple. And let's have a go. So we are working on the basis of this possibly behind me being a clock. So, if this is a clock, can you tell me something about the clock? Is it a yes, is it a no, is it a clock, uh, a time maybe? So, I'm going to give you the chance to let me record your voice. So, is this a clock? Now we're going to play it back. Now obviously we're outside, we're going to get outside noises, birds, rustling, animals. Uh, so if we slow it right down. It's still in there. So this is one of the uh, disadvantages of coming to a public place in the daytime when the children are off. If this was tomorrow on a Monday or during the week, there'd be no fuckery apart from the old folk that are lost. And getting, <laughs> and getting possessed by the old druids and their capes and their staffs. So, but yeah, it's not, it's a Sunday. It was Ryan's birthday yesterday. It was my birthday tomorrow. So we've met in the middle and come to a druid's temple. That's it. That's what you do, isn't it? Show the birthday love in the comments, people. Yeah. Make sure you hit that bell. Ding, 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 ding. I know the temple's like 50 yards over there, but I feel miles away from it. Mm. It's like we're in a different place, mm. and I'm now suddenly getting a headache mm. right on my top of my head. I never get headaches on the top, it's always at the front, it's always here, like a migraine. But it's like across there now, it's like someone's crushing me. Which is strange. Are you causing Mickey to feel the way he is? Can you say that clearer, please? Are you affecting me? So we've got the coffee, it's the important bit. Job done. Yeah. It is 4.33. We've finished at the temple, we're filming all day. And we're gonna head back home, drop Ryan off first, and then me into the darkness. The chariot shall go. Yeah. Yes.
However, you've got quite a journey ahead of you. I have. <sighs> yeah, I'll be home about nine, probably. Ish. Probably before. Technically, it won't take that long, but. <sighs> you never know. Who knows? Hopefully, the the trip is all right. To be fair, the, the roads I need to go on are quite straightforward, so it's very, be right very lucky. Yeah, and it's Sunday. So this has to be the most busiest um, service station I've ever been to. Where are we? Weatherby? Is it Weatherby? Wow. Weatherby. Hey, we, Weatherby, yeah. We queued for these drinks for about 20 minutes. Oh, no. Just to get a fucking Costa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's just... I've never seen it. We had to queue to get in the car park. And it's a fucking massive place. Peter Andre wrote that song in Senia for think, times like that. Yeah, I mean every every shop, every food outlet, the queue was outside of its area. It was that busy. I mean, what's that about? Wow. I feel mentally tired after standing in that queue <laughs> for so long. <laughs> I know. It's like, what to do? Do you do? Do you go somewhere else? Because it's just going to be just as bad inside there anyway. So don't ever go to Weatherby services on the ah, A1M. At this time of night. Oh yeah, on a Sunday though. On so, a Sunday, that's what's bizarre. Sunday right? afternoon, yeah. Can, is it a bank holiday tomorrow? Maybe because the Queen died. It's not, is it? No. no so, way. I've just dropped Ryan off. We had an awesome day on the Druid's Temple. It's been a long trip, a long drive. It's like two hours from the location to his house. So, by the time I get home, I'd have been driving about eight hours of driving today. Absolutely insane amount of driving, but, you know, it's what I enjoy doing. And the location we went to is epic, so why the hell not? That's the way I look at it. So, after 13 hours, basically 400 miles, and eight hours of driving, I have collected Ryan, gone to the Druid's Temple, and have returned. It's been such a long day, it's now nine o'clock at night. I left this morning at 8 a.m. But we got done what was needed to be done, and uh, that's the important thing. That is what we do, it's a long way. I spent a lot of money on fuel, a whole tank, like 82 pound. But it's something that I wanted to do. I've got to go out there and do it. I've got to go to these places, and that's what you do. If you want to do something, you can just go do it. No excuses. So, I am fucking tired. And it's my birthday in a few hours. Later. Well, good morning, guys. It is Monday, and it is the 12th of September. And yes, that is my birthday. Yes, I am 43 today. Presents in there from my mum and dad. Woo! It's a big day. It is, um, yeah, an interesting start to the day. So, Leo, back at school now today, and he has a black foot. Yes, he was playing football. He missed the ball and kicked a concrete post or something. I have no idea what Leo does. But anyway, his toe and foot are black, and he's hobbling. I had to pick him up. Take him to school. Bless him, the little devil. Hopefully, he will do well and make us all proud like he always does. So, yes, new Aston away shirt. Best shirt I think they've ever done, apart from bruised banana. But yeah, this is fucking quality. Absolute quality. So yeah, it's just gonna make the coffee. Have a little chat with you guys, maybe. So, let me know in the comments what you like to do in your birthday. If you could do one thing on your birthday, what would that one thing be? Would it be going to a theme park? Going shopping, going out with your friends for a meal or for drinks in a club or something like that. What, what is it that you would like to do? Because that's what I'm interested to find out. Me, I'm quite happy chilling and just being with people that matter in life. 
I think. That is that is the one thing. Thick homemade Nutella cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what we like. That is mwah. best cheesecake ever, apart from Biscoff. So, so yes, guys, plans are for today. I'm going to shave my head a bit, uh, have a shower, get ready, go and get some bits. And then I'm going out to dinner later on with Siggy and the kids. Uh, I've got work tonight. I've got to pick Ava up from work. I've got to pick Leo up from school, I imagine, because he can't walk. He's hobbling everywhere. He's up. Although it does look really nasty, so. But yeah, and again, that's, that's his fault. I mean, what did he do? He's a silly boy. But anyway, guys, I will leave you right there. I will see you in a bit. One eternity later. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. Hey. 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 Show me the cake. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> A few inches later. So morning guys, it is Saturday and yes, it's finally a day off for me. I've had a busy week at work and for the last hour and a half I've been tidying the bedroom, sorting out my clothing and various other bits and bobs. I also just trimmed my beard, look. Cut loads of hair off, loads of hair. So, I have a parcel here to unbox. Now this is very rare, I say very rare, but it's very unique as it were. It is a TGF hoodie, now if you don't know who TGF are, then where you been? So yeah, childish hoodie, they're very famous and they, people buy them on pre-sale and then sell them on eBay for like four or five times the price that they were originally to buy. So yeah. So today I'm just gonna open it, about a couple of days, so I'm gonna open it and see what it's like. Oh, some goodies in there. Right. There's some extra bits that I've just seen in this box. Oh. Right, so we got Childish Energy Melon Burst, whatever that is. Is that some sort of drink? Or sweets? Childish Milk Can. That's pretty cool. The main event. Look how big that is. That is quality. That's a proper box. Oh. How do you open this? Oh, 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 we've got movement. We've got movement, people. We've got movement. I'm gonna rip the box. Ow! I damaged the box. Or myself, for that matter. Right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. Childish Home Video Presents. Oh, it's in another bag. It's in this bag. Uh, a little childish sticker that we can un. There we go. 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 The childish UFO hoodie with the rubber tags. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is it good? Is it good? We have childish hoodie there. There we go, people. What do you reckon? Is it good? 
you think it's good? Do you think we like it? Do we like this? I think this is fucking quality. I do love a hoodie anyway. Having my own hoodie line. Link in description. But this one has to be done, I think. Tomorrow. So hi guys, good afternoon. I hope you are well. It is Sunday. I am recovering from last night. I went out and I had a little boogie. It was a nice little boogie. Don't boogie very often, but I did last night. <laughs> so yes, I have been finishing, if you can see that, it's Crispin's, the new vlog that is out tomorrow morning. Yes, Mickey vlog, August edition, episode seven of the year. It's It's been a tough one to get finished. I spent basically the whole month with Ryan Griffiths so the old uh, TV medium celebrity ghost hunter so yes went to about three or four locations with him I think so very very pleased with August events and next week I am off to 30 East Drive oh my god a week tomorrow yes going there with Daz, Alex, Nick UK Haunted Daz's ghost hunts so yes that'll be good and then the following weekend we are off to Cornwall for four days Jamaica in oh my god wow the whole place to ourselves oh but yeah let me just show you something I've been sorting out lately so basically what I do every few months I look on eBay and I try and get Nike Air Max 90s Air Force 90s whatever they're called um, second hand now I always do this I buy them for about 30 35 pound wear them for six months, wear them to the ground, and then bin them and then get another pair. But this month, it's been quite busy and I got three pairs. Yes, I got three pairs. And I also don't like laces. I had to replace them with them little rubber things, the rubber laces. So you never have to do laces up again. Oh my God, it's so easy, but it hurts your fingers and your thumb trying to squeeze them through. So I'll show you what I did. So yeah, these are a bit dirty, but I've been wearing these the last week or so. So yeah, no laces, never have to do them up. So yeah, these are in good nick. I think I paid like 32 pound for them. Got these gray ones. Got these for about 32, 31. Again, no laces. And I also got these for 29 pound. I mean, look, they're virtually brand new. Still need to get the, uh, the old rubber bits of them. I've ordered them. They're only like three or four pound each. So yeah. And these are the ones I've, I've purchased before. I've had these about a year now. I mean, look at them. I paid like 28 quid for them, I think. It's so cheap and such a, an eco-friendly way of doing it. Instead of buying expensive trainers. Now these are like 80 to 100 pound trainers. Why would I fucking pay that? But yeah. Also bought this new fleece throw for my bedding that I'm going to put on the top. This was on offer today in Wilco's. £8 instead of £18. Well happy with that. Well happy. So. Got some straps. If you want to be tied up, let me know. <laughs> Cringy. Wow. Good morning guys. I finished work, I did a sleeping last night and I am off to get a morning Costa coconut flat white just to wake me up because I need it and I've, my alarm actually woke me up at work and that's rare for me to actually be woken by an alarm at work. I'm normally up just in case somebody wakes me up etc. Don't worry about it, I'm just rambling. But yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's too early. I don't know what time is. It's about quarter past seven, but yeah, let's go. Oh, that's Costa done. It's nice to just go and chill and have some time for yourself while drinking amazing coffee. But I want to ask you something. You know when you try and go out of your way and help people, do you ever find a positive in that apart from the acts that you are doing 
Because whenever I do something nice for somebody that I don't need to do, I don't have to do, it always seems to backfire on me. I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I was um, doing some work in the kitchen. Didn't need to do it, I was cleaning the sink. And I got bleach on my jumper. Now, I didn't need to clean it, but I thought it'd be nice and helpful to clean this sink in particular. Yet again, something has come back on me every time. Now, I'm not being a, a doom monger or saying don't help people, but throughout the years recently, I found that being nice and helping people gets you nowhere. Always something bad happens to myself or something that I'm doing goes wrong afterwards. I just can't explain it, but yeah, I just thought I'd ask you guys because it's very frustrating to me. I now either have to cover this whole jumper in bleach splashes to make it look interesting, which I could do, I suppose, or just use it for gardening or a shit jumper and get myself a new one, which means I've got to spend money. I've got to spend money to replace this because I was trying to help somebody and trying to do a good deed. Every single time that I try and help people and I don't need to, shit comes back on me. <laughs> but what can you do? Eh? What can you do? No idea. Anyway, I'm going home. I'm gonna go have breakfast. It is Friday. Let's see what today brings. I've got work later, so probably not much. And work this weekend. But Monday, I am off to Pontefract 30 East Drive with Daz's ghost hunt. Alex, Nick, and Daz. So, oh, and Stacy as well now. Stacy has joined the Daz's ghost hunt team. That's, that's um, Daz's friend. So she was with us at, where was she with us at? We met her in Nottingham and she came on the, the Northampton ghost hunt. So yeah. A few moments later. I didn't do that. There we go. Lovely fleece. Oh yeah. I love yellow and black as you can see. Awesome. Let's get some more yellow trainers. So yes guys, also Arsenal won today. 3-0 against Brentford away. Boosh! Still top of the league after seven games. Six wins out of seven. Come on Arteta's army. Let's do this. Rawr. 12 seconds later. So yes guys, a new map stopper has arrived. Four inch thick memory foam. Apparently it's got bamboo and charcoal in. Apparently, but that's a good one. I don't know. No idea. So, have a look. Four, ten hours. I'm not waiting two days for this thing to expand. Hell no. It can expand tonight because I'm not here. I'm on sleeping. So, apart from that. Oh, that's quite cool. It's very good. I like that. I like that. There we go. Fast, clever, isn't it? It's 
well thick. Yeah. So 48 hours, it's gonna have 36 hours. Well, hi guys, how are you? Hope you're well. It is Sunday morning and I received a parcel yesterday, but I was not home. So it is difficult to get if you're not there. So I am off with my little red slip, as always, to go and get the parcel. Now I believe this parcel is from Andy Bailey, Infrareddy, you make paranormal equipment. It is a prototype of his new, new spirit box, basically a ghost box. Uh, he's sending it to me so that I can test it out, do some filming with it. Should be good. All of Andy's stuff is top quality. So yeah, looking forward to getting that in a minute and having a play with it. Now tomorrow, I am off to Pontefract to go to 30 East Drive with Daz, Nick and Alex. I've probably said that already. Oh, and Stacey, sorry. I've already said that in this vlog, probably, but I've got to say it again because why not? You know, it is what it is. So yeah, that'll be good. I checked this morning and it's only a two and two hours and four minutes to East Drive from here. But then again, that was this morning. So it could be the time of day as a Sunday morning. That's how long it takes. So it could be that, it could be, it could be many factors why. But yeah, it seems to be M1 all the way. And then at the end is like M18. I'm sure I went past it the other week when I went up to um, fucking well busy this road today. When I went up to Druid's Temple with Ryan uh, la that last weekend, if a weekend. So yeah, that that footage is in here. You've seen, you've seen it already. So that's a good good day. I love going there. We wanted to go to somewhere like that for a long time. Just need to go back at night now and that'll be Jolly Roger. So yes, guys, I'll see you in a minute. So there we go, spirit box from Andy Bailey. I'm gonna check now to see if it needs batteries because I wanna try it out. And I haven't got no batteries at home, so I might have to go to the B&M on the way home, get some batteries. b and is a good place to go, you know. You can get to uh, double A play batteries, Duracell for like four quid, well good. From what I've seen, it's very similar to the Alice box. Like shape wise, box wise, on off on there. And all the frequencies is displayed digitally on there. I'm guessing that's the speaker. So, what do I need? Four double A's, exactly like the Alice box. That is fine. What I'll do, I'll go get Cheeky Costa because why not? And then, uh, whoo. Get some batteries as well. Thank you, Andy. Awesome as ever. Always helps the paranormal community whenever they need equipment being made and stuff being posted quickly so that they can use the investigations. And uh, yeah, cheers, Andy. Nice one, boy. All right, so here we go, back home now. Got the batteries. Got extra batteries ready for tomorrow. All right, so batteries are in now. And for ready to go, so that comes out, that's pretty cool. Right, so. Okay. Let's scan the speed. Up and down. Now 
It's very slow. If you look at the speed there. So guys, it's five to midday and the hair is going to come off. Yeah, the hair is, is going to go. I'm going to go shave my head. I've had this for like two and a half, three weeks now. This is the longest my hair has been in three years plus. Yeah, it's crazy. So just packing my stuff up. Daz's ghost hunt filming tonight. We are going to Pontefract, 30 East Drive. Yes, the famous Black Monk of Pontefract. We are going to be there. Oh. There you go. Hair is gone. Ah, my power's back. Oh, the power of the board. That's it. Write that down. 20 minutes later. It's quarter to two. I'm going to get petrol now because I'm out and I need to drive quite far. Oh. So I'll get petrol and then obviously I'll stop at Costa on the way. Why not? Apparently I'm meeting Alex, Nick and Daz at the there's a services just around the corner from the house. So that'll be good. We can go to have a Burger King about five o'clock. So hopefully everything goes to plan. So Costa bought, cooking up flat white, let's hit the road. So I stopped at Tom Tomwell Services because I needed a wee. Too much coffee on the way. <laughs> so yeah, where is uh, where is it? Do we know? We don't know. Where the fuck did I park? My car's around there somewhere. I parked my car somewhere. Ah, there's my car. Over it. I hate it when you come out of places and you can't find your car. So there's more head in. But yeah. Got about an hour until I get to the, uh, the services where I'm meeting the boys. But... Oh. I'm going to be there about 45 minutes earlier than them. So, it's going to be all right. So, I'll have a five minute break here and then carry on back on the road. So I'll get two hours to stay here. This is the part, oh yeah, look, Tesla, Tesla charging. This is where Alex and Nick and Dan need to come so they can charge. They're probably just in one car, I'd say. Alex or, or Dan is Tesla. So we arrived. Hello, Moto. So I've just been toilet and emptied myself because I'm, I'm disgusted like that. Yeah, I don't know where. Boys would be in about 20 minutes, I think. That'd be alright. Go and chill in the car. Wait for me to get here. I don't know where the Tesla thing is. So. But it'll be fine. Have some Burger King. And get ready to get to East Drive. I think I don't know how far away it is. I'll have a look at a minute. A few inches later. Oh, nice How are we doing? How are we doing? All right? Good lad. Says Nick, he's got chicken. Say hello. Alright. See you later. Take care. Thank you. Ah, Libby. We're only around the corner from you. Come knocking your door. I'll see you boys there in a minute. Yeah, alright mate. Yeah. I'm over there. See you in a minute. So there you go, it's nine minutes away, 3.4 miles, 
That's perfect. Perfect. Well, boys, I fucked up. I went the wrong way. I went on the M62 on that big roundabout, and uh, it took me an extra 10 minutes to get here. Well, I'm here now, so where the fuck are you lot? <laughs> How did I beat you here when I went the wrong way and added 10 minutes to my journey? Oh, there you are. You're behind me. So there we have it, people. 30 East Drive. The most violent poltergeist in Europe, apparently. The Black Monk of Pontefract. It's inside. We are there all night. Whoa. Freddy is driving, it's starting to rain. <laughs> East Drive Paranormal, there you go. I don't know if it's 79, but. <laughs> I I'll regret that, wouldn't I? Wow. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> And I've got a light in. So this is 30 East Drive. I'm the only one in here. Oh, that is creepy vibes. That is what I'm feeling. We are feeling creepy vibes, people. Creepy vibes. Whew. Very dark. There you go. Now, if that falls at me, I'm going to cry. See, I was going to stay here after the investigation tonight and the boys are going back to the Airbnb but my plans have changed so I will be driving back but I would have been in here on my own Well, oh, the rooms have definitely changed since I've been in here Things like 2014, 13, something like that 2015, I don't know. 2016, I think, because we were on TV. Yeah, we were on TV then. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've always wanted to see it. Like, now we're here. Hopefully, we'll catch something. You wouldn't go in there? Yeah. yeah. My house is back. I'd love to be equipped to go here. Before that, were my other halves. Grandmother, Elsie May Mount. Jean's best friend. She got the house, nobody was lived in it. Father's lived in here before Jean. So that girl's family used to own this. Wow. I've got a fellow ginger here, right? It's not good to hair, yeah. It's really good to hair, mate. How you doing, all right? Yeah, just don't break suddenly. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> there's Tesco. There. <coughs> there it is, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a tiny one, isn't it? They're like, oh, Daz is here. <coughs> Daz is here. Get his wallet. Oh, look, someone's playing, um, is that Halo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Halo, I don't like no, that. Halo. Hello. Hello. Boom! Yeah, get get one. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, we're recording all night. Yeah, we're all night. We'll be banging on the door. After the 30, he's driving. Not yet, we've just had a tour. We've recorded a little bit, getting some B roll, but um, yeah, we're going to be there all night filming and see what we catch. Yeah, we're going to do it. the cherry. We've got the cherry in there, haven't we? Cherry clips in that. What's your name? How long have you guys been watching? About three years. Really? Oh, yeah. Back when you were in your old house. Um, oh, in the old house, in, yeah. the, in the wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah, right a long time ago. Glad to be able to gloss it. <laughs> when Dad's closes down Tesco. Yeah. <laughs> ching ching. Cheers. Wait. Good house. And Merry Christmas. And a happy oh, New Year. Oh, they got cameras on there. I think it is. Yeah, that's all new, man. Oh, that's you can see behind, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we're in Tesco's, in, in Pontefract, we're in Tesco's, Pontefract, and look, he's getting mugged. Yeah, that's the best. Oh my god. Yeah, Nick, you got No, no, not I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, you, you can do. Yeah, we have. You got one? Yeah. I got one, I didn't even think about M Spring, so I was driving, but then I saw it with Danny, I was like, I've got time for this. Thank you, cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that call. Oh. <laughs> I would have been so well upset. Nice to meet you, bro. Lovely. Nice to meet you. See you later. See you later. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> we can leave Tesco now. But can we get to the car? That's the thing, isn't it? Who am I, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's quite. Quite small. I just about got in there. For fucking audience. <laughs> Alex has got pressure. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Was it someone behind him? Can you actually fit in? Yeah, I can fit. I fit in there? He's got his own driver. <laughs> Alex <laughs> driving. He was a cameraman last He's time. Got a ginger driver today. <laughs> fucking upgraded. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? You good? Yeah. Good so much shoes. Like shoes. You are. Uh, can't see. Yeah. yeah, just get in first, just, guys. Yeah. Just. Watch, I don't know if your mirrors will be good. Yeah. It's gonna be a four-hour job waiting on solid. Yeah. I've got, got the bag. Oh, oh yeah. Watch the wall, guys. Watch the wall. Uh, I'm gonna have to fucking park down there. Right, I'm gonna get out here and then you distract them. Mm -hmm. Mickey, you go with that. I can't. I've got the key. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Can you get that outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look out that side. You got the key? I have got the key, yeah. Do you want me to open the door? Yeah, let's get that door. Fucking wow. So there's like 30 kids outside waiting and the neighbours are outside screaming at them. Did they say anything? Uh, I think that's him going in, but I don't know. Yeah, he's Alex right. is parking elsewhere, isn't he? No, I don't know. He's getting out your side. Is he? Did he just whack his car? Oh, I did. Yeah, I said when he passed, I said, watch the wall, but I think there was too much going on. He didn't, he didn't hear. Oh, so you didn't? So I saw his door. I opened the door and fucking whacked it. You better. Well, it's not my fault, it's a fucking... Boom. Let me put the crack on now. I that's all right. I hope I'm just showing him my pictures. Pictures of what? <laughs> yeah. I was just showing him the pictures. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> no, I, I went, I, I said, look, he yeah, sends his best to you, but we're not here for long, so we're basically cracking on. Cracking on, me. I said, what time are you finished? Oh, I'm free for. Fucking hell, there's a motorbike saying that as well. <laughs> Thank you.
I was filming out the window, showing all the people. There's more cars turning up and everything. Jesus. And they were just waving at me out the window. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thanks for all that, aren't they? Yeah. Where's <laughs> 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 Nick? Where's <laughs> Nick? <laughs> so, by the sounds of it, there is motorbikes outside, cars outside, kids queuing up outside to see dads. Yes, to see dads. Not me, not Nick or Alec, but dads. Right, Nick's gonna go outside dressed as me and see if the fans think it's me. Right, Nick, yeah. just walk past. Nice and quiet, right? Right. 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 Then, then take your hat off, Nick, when you come past. Give him a wave. No, put it on. What? How? No, put your hat on and give him a wave at the door. <laughs> come on. Shout Linda. Linda! Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Linda! Who that gave it away? So impressive. <laughs> Linda! <laughs> <laughs> Are you right? Are you doing? Linda! How are you doing? You good? We we we've got like a permit, so we've we've only got a little while to be here. Uh, so unfortunately, we got to crack on and get on with the shoot. Yeah, I'm really sorry. You do a big group photo, mate. But what I can do is I can do one big group photo with you, and then you can all share it. Yeah. Alright. Wait there, Nick. You had a light here, this one. Is that, yeah. that big enough? Yeah, yeah. That'll do nicely, bruv. Oh, it's only eight months old. Hey! Want me to take it, Dad? <laughs> yeah, we take one. Yeah! Yes! Cheers, Dad. Yes! Dad's fishbowl, that's fishbowl. Fishbowl. Yes! Dad, Dad, Dad! That's yeah, I can't go down here. Please, please. Hey, Linda. Yeah, Linda. Yeah. See you telling a camera. <laughs> yes. That's what you put on I'll Twitter. I'll do a video, hang on. Oh, God. We love you, Daz. I'm saving them. Hold on. Everybody shout Ready? Linda. Yeah. Shout Three, Linda. Three, two, one. Linda! Linda! <laughs> <laughs> Good guys. You're like my dad, man. You're like my dad. You're like my dad. Show Big Black Mark! Big Black Mark! It's gonna go on spirit. Right, is this gonna be on iTunes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Not that I'm aware. Should we go to the recorder right. as well, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna see if we spirits can, can sing along. Sing along if you know the words, ghosts. Let's do it. My name is Nick. I'm calling out to all the spirits here at Thirty East Drive. This is dedicated to all of you. I'm here with my crew. I've got Taz, got Alex, I've got Nicky, and my name is Nicky. I've got a Taz, I've got Alex, I've got a Nicky, and my name is.
thank you. If you can respond in any way possible, please. Maybe with a record deal. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Do you know what they're going to say now? They're going to want that as an official song. It's not a problem. And we'll have to make the music video. <laughs> yeah, you want that as an official song, guys? Let us what know. What should we call it? Push it down the stairs. Push it down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll make a music video of it. Push it down the stairs. No. No, we'll do, we'll do that. We'll do yeah, it. Christmas yeah. number one. Let's do it. I want to know. Da, 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 Fucking, who started singing that fucking song? Who? Mine. Mine? Yeah. Yeah. Mine on his charge my fucking phone. You stealing my setup, Alex? No, I'm just checking. Is that the only club around here? Oh, I don't know. Bad? I just found it and so I used it. Is it working, the electric? Yeah. Show yourself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on, bonjour, my friend. <laughs> You're welcome. So this is Emma's room, the spirit that likes to be in here. Hello Emma. Hello, who's up here, please? Parents' house. Parents' house? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Drop your balls. M's. I just said M's, Alex, again. Yeah, M's, it said M's. M's in bathroom. Right, if you fucking win the jackpot, show your fucking mind, Go for that one, please. What do you got? Scratch card? Huh? Yeah. Well, you're doing it faster if it's yours. Yeah, I know. I'm not back. And the fucking comments are going to get free of everything. Oh, that one, is that from my own car? Oh, Carol, oh, Carol. Carol, do you have She's fucking throwing shit. <laughs> so I just happened to remember I had these in the boot of my car. Satan Sadie and Posh Edward. Well, Dassey's going to meet them later. Should we 
get a picture on the stairs. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Bloody good idea. Bye toilet. Bye toilet. Bye mug. <laughs> If you do, where the fuck are you? Bye. So it is 3.25 a.m. I am just leaving East Drive now. The boys have gone the other way. I'm going this way. And it says I'll be at home at 5.31 in the morning. Whew, crazy. So it's a two hours and six minute drive home. Now at the moment, I feel quite fine to be fair. I don't feel tired. Hopefully that continues because I don't really want to stop because I actually want to get some sleep before I get up in the morning I've got stuff to do so but yeah quite a quiet night at East Drive but then to be honest I think it normally is we've been there once before nothing major happened last time so you know spirit box I thought was good whether that means there's lots of spirits in the house who knows but, but yeah so Anyway, turn this off, I'll speak to you in a bit. The Mara Boshua. So here's Leo, it's Hello. Tuesday evening. I'm very tired after the ghost hunt last night. And where are we going, Leo? It's the gym. Huh! In the fucking gym. I don't feel it. But Leo phoned me and begged me to go gym, so so please go gym. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. You messaged me. <laughs> so, yeah. Come gym, please. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, here we go, back again. Back again. It's not like too many people in there. That's the gym done. Leo can't get out. You get stuck in there. <laughs> For a second. So all the, most of them machines we did today, you don't normally do, do you? No, I just ice the fruit ice all day. Yeah, it's very busy in there. Very, very, very busy. It's like, at least 60 people in there? Yeah, and the rest. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna come back tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, sure. Tomorrow evening. Oh, and get fucking tired. So, should be good. I can't, I'm going to move in the morning. I'll be knackered. But I've got school tomorrow. I've got work tomorrow. Fuck 6 a.m. <laughs> they sent me <sighs> So, good evening, guys. It is Friday, the 30th of September. Yes, it's nearly October. Can you believe that? Can you believe how quickly the times have changed? How quickly the cold has arrived? It's crazy. Anyway. I have been waiting for a parcel from Amazon uh, because I went to East Drive with Daz, Nick and Alex on Monday. I wore that hat, didn't I? You should have seen it in the footage. Well, I decided to order a black version and I thought I'd wear it on these ghost hunts because why not, eh? Now, well it is, it's supposed to be coming today because I'm going tomorrow, tomorrow lunchtime, to Cornwall. So I ordered this hat was that say? Arriving today by 8 p.m. And it was sent by Express Hats. Now, when you order on Amazon, you expect it to be delivered by Amazon, I think, anyway. I was like, Royal Mail. Now, if I wanted Royal Mail to deliver something for me, I would have ordered it off eBay. 7 57 so i have three minutes until this parcel should be here now do royal mail deliver at night on some tracking thing no idea but i will be fucking fuming if this doesn't arrive by tomorrow lunchtime now i have amazon prime so i didn't have to pay for delivery anyway but if i or did i did I? Let's have a look. I fucking did as well. I had to pay £1.95 for delivery. So it wasn't even on Prime. 
Wow. So, yeah, the hat was twelve fifty. Postage, uh, one pound ninety five. And I paid and chose this company because it said it would be delivered on the thirtieth of September, which is today. Now, believe me, they are going to get a fucking mouthful off me in a minute if this doesn't turn up, because this is the whole reason I bought it. And you know, a big hat. Well, it's not big hat, but a hat just to send back is not easy. So they're going to have a big box. They're going to have to come and collect it. They can fuck themselves, basically. I hate these companies that they try and use Amazon, but they don't do their job properly. Now, it may be here in one minute. I have no idea. I might get a knock on the door in a minute and go, hello, here's your hat. <laughs> Maybe wrong, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Sorry. Oh. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to end this month's vlog. Yes, September's vlog. You have to find out, watch October's vlog to find out if the hat arrived or not. <laughs> I've left it on a cliffhanger. But anyway, if you've watched every minute up until this very point, I would like to comment below, Amazon hat. Because <laughs> why not? So yes, uh, you guys are awesome as ever. Uh, go check out the merch in the description below. Um, lots of different designs, cups, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, dad's lads and kebab stuff as well. All good, all good, all good quality. So yes, I make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and if you are, hello, my name is Mickey, and you've reached my channel. Nothing else to say except I will see you guys next month, and next month is Halloween. We're about to get busy. See you later.